Hello, and welcome to Animal Chiropractic Clinic Chatter, a podcast where Dr. O, from all creatures every spine, interviews doctors and animal owners that utilize animal chiropractic to get their unique perspectives. Yes, it's really a thing. Dr. O utilizes his 30 years of experience as both an animal chiropractor and veterinarian, and to dig deep into the discussion of complex issues affecting the lives of your animal friends and companions. Join us for this educational episode. Helping others experience an abundant life with the gift, art, and blessing that is animal chiropractic is our sole mission at ACES. It's what we do. It's what we love. It truly is what keeps us motivated to help people just like you. I truly love the art of chiropractic. It drives me to providing the highest level of chiropractic possible. And as fellow chiropractic business owners, it's that love that drives us to become better. However, the reality is that sometimes running a successful business can be challenging. Sometimes there can be obstacles to overcome, right? Yeah, we all know the old saying, if it were easy, everyone would do it. Well, one thing that is really easy is marketing our clinic with a professional animal chiropractic website by the Cairo website pro, Tony Seymour. He's a professional web designer and his team at the Cairo Website Pro take good care of us. They simply make marketing our practice 100% hassle-free. If you're looking for the number one hands-free way to market your practice, give the Cairo Website Pro a call at 423-779-4630 or simply visit www.cairowebsitepro.com and make sure you ask them about the special ACES discount and let them know Dr. O sent you. You'll be glad. Thanks for joining us for this portion of the episode as Dr. O begins to answer the question, what is animal chiropractic? He will look at how the chiropractic adjustment is a valuable and viable treatment for what ails your animals. Animal chiropractic. Uh, People ask all the time, what does animal chiropractic treat? And the answer is uh, nothing and everything. And I know that's vague and people get frustrated with that. But animal chiropractic and the goal of animal chiropractors is not to treat any disease or symptom. The treatment of disease and symptoms are side effects of animal chiropractic. I know that sounds a little different. Here's the thing. Animal chiropractic is geared at maintaining the optimal functioning nervous system in an animal. Um, that allows the body's brain, the animal's brain, to communicate with all the organs, the feet, to know where they're at, um, which is very important for optimal performance and function. If we, if the brain doesn't know how much food is in the stomach, it might produce too much or too little stomach acid, leading to an ulcer. Um, if the 
brain doesn't know exactly where the legs are, where the feet are, um, it can lead to things like fractured legs or uh, strained ligaments or bowed tendons. Um, if the you know, brain is perceiving pain that, that isn't there, um, it will be a cause of chronic stress and the animal will be in a fight or flight. So what the, my job as an animal chiropractor is to go in and remove, uh, identify and remove vertebral subluxations in animals. Um, these are places where the body, uh, where the vertebral bodies don't move exactly correctly. They may be stuck to the right. They may be stuck in neutral, stuck to the left. Uh, they just don't move correctly. And that lack of movement causes all kinds of problems because movement is life, especially for not only for animals but for the cartilage. Um, cartilage requires movement to get nutrients and to get rid of waste products. So if there's no um, no movement in a particular joint, the cartilage in that joint will start to become damaged. Uh, we know this damage happens, you know, very quickly. Uh, within three to seven days, we'll see changes that remain along for a, around for a long time. So it's very important um, that we keep our animals adjusted, keep that cartilage moving well, so that it, it doesn't become damaged and, and end up with problems like OCD, arthritis, excuse me, problems like that. Because when we have these problems on down the line, then you know we get to where we have more injuries. Uh, we have more systemic problems, more chronic problems. If we can keep the animals adjusted, keep everything um, maintaining, right? Keep the sympathetic, parasympathetic nervous system, you know, the fight and flight, keep that balanced um, to where the animals are able to enjoy its life instead of always being on edge, always being on guard, um, then everything will be even better. So my job as an animal chiropractor is to restore movement in your animal's spine. And when we do this, um, sometimes it do does. It takes care of problems like lamenesses. Um, but a lot of times, you know, I've had um, clients come in and say, you know, my dog's tail didn't curl right, and now it does. My dog had ear infections, and, and now he doesn't. Um, my dog had some skin problems, and, and those went away. And you know, the only reason I really came in to see you uh, was because my dog was having trouble getting up and down the stairs, and all these other things um, got taken care of. And I'm like, well, all we did was restore movement to the spine, and even getting up and down the stairs was a side effect of the chiropractic adjustment. And so, with that, um, those side effects, your animal is living a more carefree life and more likely and able to adapt to its surroundings in what you consider an appropriate manner um, because it is more appropriate and that's what the human animal bond is all about being able to spend quality time with your animals in, in an environment where you're both happy so chiropractic experience the side effects have a great day Make sure to visit our website, allcreatureseveryspine.com, where you can subscribe to the show and learn more about getting your animals adjusted. If you're in the Meridian, Texas area, drop in on a Tuesday afternoon to get your animals adjusted. If that isn't possible, schedule a consultation on your animal's health with Dr. O. You can also purchase a copy of Dr. O's book, Yes, It's Really a Thing. Animal chiropractic. Uh, people ask all the time, what does animal chiropractic treat? And the answer is uh, nothing and everything. And I know that's vague and people get frustrated with that. But animal chiropractic and the goal of animal chiropractors is not to treat any disease or symptom. The treatment of disease and symptoms are side effects of animal chiropractic. I know that's sounds a little different. Here's the thing. Animal chiropractic is geared at maintaining the optimal functioning nervous system in an animal um, that allows the 
body's brain, the animal's brain, to communicate with all the organs, the feet, to know where they're at, um, which is very important for optimal performance and function. If, we, if the brain doesn't know how much food is in the stomach, it might produce too much or too little stomach acid leading to an ulcer. Um, if the brain doesn't know exactly where the legs are, where the feet are, um, it can lead to things like fractured legs or uh, strained ligaments or bowed tendons. Um, if the you know, brain is perceiving pain that, that isn't there, um, it will be a cause of chronic stress and the animal will be in a fight or flight. So what the, my job as an animal chiropractor is to go in and remove, uh, identify and remove vertebral subluxations in animals. Um, these are places where the body, uh, where the vertebral bodies don't move exactly correctly. They may be stuck to the right, they may be stuck in neutral, stuck to the left. Uh, they just don't move correctly. And that lack of movement causes all kinds of problems because movement is life, especially for not only for animals, but for the cartilage. Um, cartilage requires movement to get nutrients and to get rid of waste products. So if there's no, um, no movement in a particular joint, the cartilage in that joint will start to become damaged. Uh, we know this damage happens you know, very quickly. Uh, within three to seven days, we'll see changes that remain along for a, around for a long time. So it's very important um, that we keep our animals adjusted, keep that cartilage moving well, so that it, it doesn't become damaged and, and end up with problems like OCD, arthritis, excuse me, problems like that. Because when we have these problems on down the line, then, you know, we get to where we have more injuries. Uh, we have more systemic problems, more chronic problems. If we can keep the animals adjusted, keep everything um, maintaining, right? Keep the sympathetic, parasympathetic nervous system, you know, the fight and flight, keep that balanced um, to where the animals are able to enjoy its life instead of always being on edge, always being on guard, um, then everything will be even better. So my job as an animal chiropractor is to restore movement in your animal's spine. And when we do this, um, sometimes it do does. It takes care of problems like lamenesses. Um, but a lot of times, you know, I've had um, clients come in and say, you know, my dog's tail didn't curl right, and now it does. My dog had ear infections, and, and now he doesn't. Um, my dog had some skin problems, and, and those went away. And, you know, the only reason I really came in to see you uh, was because my dog was having trouble getting up and down the stairs. And all these other things um, got taken care of. And I'm like, well, all we did was restore movement to the spine. And even getting up and down the stairs was a side effect of the chiropractic adjustment. And so with that, um, those side effects, your animal is living a more carefree life and more likely and able to adapt to its surroundings in what you consider an appropriate manner um, because it is more appropriate and that's what the human animal bond is all about being able to spend quality time with your animals in, in an environment where you're both happy so chiropractic experience the side effects have a great day Make sure to visit our website, allcreatureseveryspine.com, where you can subscribe to the show and learn more about getting your animals adjusted. If you're in the Meridian, Texas area, drop in on a Tuesday afternoon to get your animals adjusted. If that isn't possible, schedule a consultation on your animal's health with Dr. O. You can also purchase a copy of Dr. O's book, Yes, It's Really a Thing. Hey, just a quick reminder, um, we have several events coming up uh, soon. We have the advanced uh, atlas adjusting for dogs coming up in March. We have the advanced atlas adjusting for horses coming up uh, this summer. 
And then, of course, we have our food animal uh, coming up in the fall. So go to the website, www.animalchiropracticeducation.com. Take a look. Find those things. Uh, sign up. If you're not already certified, then you want to take Animal Chiropractic 101. Uh, that starts the day you sign up. Uh, you can become certified if you're a veterinarian or a chiropractor. You can become certified in as, in as little as uh, a couple months. So go ahead, uh, take a look at the website, and thanks for tuning in. Join us as Dr. O interviews a certified chiropractor, veterinarian, or an animal owner. These enthusiastic people explain how they utilize animal chiropractic to alter the lives of the animals in their communities. Hey everybody, thanks for tuning in this week uh, to Animal Clinic Chatter with, uh, I'm Dr. O, and today our guest is Dr. Manny. Tell us a little bit about yourself, Dr. Manny. So I'm a human and animal chiropractor based in Northern California, actually right in the Bay Area. Um, I have been in practice for about three years and have been doing animal practice for about a year. Um, I finished ACEs last December, so it's been over a year now, actually. Um, wow. Um, and it's just been one heck of a year, A, because 2020, I think, was one heck of a year for everybody, but it's been a real, it's actually been a really great year because all of our animal patients have been doing extremely well. Cool. All right. So why, why did you add animals to your patient list? Uh, honestly, if I could work with only animals, that would be my ideal. But because I live in the Bay Area, people uh, also like to come in with their animals and it tends to be better, especially for horses, for me to adjust both the rider and the horse, because you can really tell what the rider's doing versus what the horse is doing. And it helps figure everything out in a bigger picture rather than just one animal at a time. Cool. Um, so that's good. So tell me about your biggest animal win. Oh, there's a couple. Can I do a couple? You can do as many as you want. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So we had a dog that came in who was carried in. Um, she had had six seizures and she's a little mini Yorkie. Six seizures in one day went to the animal hospital. They thought she was poisoned with something. Uh, turns out she ran into a wall. Um, so we adjusted her atlas within that same day she was walking. The owner called us in tears because she was about to put this dog down. Um, we've now seen her 10 times total, maybe, if that many, and she's fully 100% back. So that's one of them. The other one was a horse that no one could touch. <laughs> so this horse um, refused to work with some trainers, would kick them, would pretend to be lame, uh, had been traded through four different owners uh, because she was just aggressive towards certain owners, uh, definitely had history of abuse. I adjusted her for the first time last week. She's a completely different horse. Her personality's changed. She's eating better. She also has Cushing's. Um, and she, she originally was insulin resistant. And after her adjustment, the vet tested her again. She's no longer insulin resistant. <laughs> so, so that's kind of exciting in one week. Yeah. So, you know, and so we, we restore balance to the nervous system mm -hmm. and and that's what we do yeah cool so what has animal chiropractic done to your life oh my gosh uh well a it's opened up all of my networking platforms most people when you tell them that you're an animal chiropractor they're like we have that for animals are you serious and it's like yeah actually your animal probably needs it more than you do because you're at home stressing it out all the time now uh, <laughs> yeah I've had a lot of dogs come in that are like freaking out this year. Um, and it's just, it, it's opened my practice probably tenfold this year. I have people that I travel to over three hours to get to. And I have people that travel over three hours to get to me now. Mm -hmm. So it's, especially in the Bay area with all the traffic that we have, the fact that people are willing to do that is, is really unique. Cool. So we need more animal chiropractors. We need more animal chiropractors. Yeah. So that we don't have to travel so far. Yes. 
Yeah, because you can't help animals when you're driving down the road. Exactly. <laughs> you know, it's it's good for our ego. I mean, you know, oh, I'm licensed in nine states and blah blah blah, I travel all over. But but you know, when you're doing that traveling, you you can't be helping anybody. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, we need more more of us so we don't have to drive so far. Yeah. We need more, especially in like up northern California. Yeah. And so let's talk about that because, you know, California, <laughs> I've heard, you know, is not, what I, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, not inviting, inviting to animal chiropractors. I, I don't think it's inviting to anyone right now. <laughs> but, but from a legal standpoint, do you have... I mean, are you having problems practicing animal chiropractic? Yeah, actually, last year they tried to shut down all of animal chiropractic in the state of California. So I sat on two boards through the CCA and the ACA to make sure that that stayed open. We went to a big conference, a hidden conference on Zoom mm -hmm. in San Diego, where both myself and the other doc I work with sat in on that conference and we fought for our practice and they are allowing us to keep it open for another year. So that's good. Um, but we're still fighting. The CCA is heavily fighting the state of California veterinary board right now to make sure that we do stay open. And I, I work very closely with a lot of vets who are not known to be chiropractic friendly. So mm -hmm. we're kind of opening up venues in that regard as well. Good. Good. So we're doing everything that we can from a personal standpoint to keep everything open here. And, and if you need any help, you know, just let us know. Yeah. Because we have, um, we're in a unique situation. Where are you guys um, Because as being as veterinarians, uh, mm -hmm. I definitely have case studies where veterinarians have said under no circumstances should this animal be adjusted. Mm -hmm. And um, as a second veterinarian, um, I said, you know, I think we should adjust this animal. And mm -hmm. we've adjusted them and they've gotten better. So yeah. we have that. Um, we, we also have given some, some um, for the Pennsylvania, we put together a little test. Uh, it was multiple choice. Uh, for instance, you know, we, we and this, this one really opened the Pennsylvania vet board um, eyes. So we said, okay, you guys all decided that this dog has a pelvis that's uneven and maybe it could benefit from chiropractic. Yeah. Here's five pictures. Which one is the correct setup for the chiropractor to adjust that uneven pelvis? <laughs> None of them got it right, did they? Yeah. Well, we had 20%, <laughs> you know, they got a guess, but okay. we just put 10, 10 questions like that together and gave it to the vet board. So that may be something that you want to look at. Yeah. You know. Um, and, and that's why, I mean, it, in California, it's a very unique situation too, because we do have to work directly with vets. Right. Um, so it's, when they watch us do what we do, they sit back and they're like, we were going to put this dog down last week and you made it walk. And I was right. like, yeah, because it had an Atlas issue. Like it's not dying. It's six years old. Like it's not dying. It doesn't have cancer. It's not like vomiting, throwing up, doing all of it. It just can't walk because it ran into something like, <laughs> and nothing's broken. Like we, we had a really bad horse that had whiplash and it had a pelvic, it had a down a knock tip didn't want to be adjusted by anyone. So I got up on the mounting block and adjusted it opposite of what any other chiropractor had been adjusting it as. And this horse will now let you touch it. It will let you adjust everything because it's like, yeah, that made me feel so much better. Yeah. No one thought about that. So. Yep. So cool. All right. What do you wish all of your animal owners knew about animal chiropractic? <laughs> Ooh. Um, it's not hocus pocus. It's not hocus pocus. It's not magic. 
uh, there, there's a lot of science behind it. Just like with chiropractic, there's a lot of science behind it. And our, we very much value our degree and you save thousands of dollars coming to us. Thousands, <laughs> you save thousands of dollars coming to us. If your dog is having any kind of musculoskeletal issue. Well, not just musculoskeletal issue. Yeah. Digestive anything. A lot of allergies. We've seen a lot of allergies. We just started our own essential oil line too for dogs. Like it's, it's been a huge year. Cool. All right. And then what would you tell those chiropractors out there that are maybe not certified that are having some issues that are trying to adjust animals? You know, why should they go ahead and get certified? I already told someone to not do that ever again because they had a dog get put down after a bad adjustment. Um, the dog became overly aggressive because they thought that you adjust an atlas the same way in a dog as you adjust in a human. And I was like, please don't ever touch an animal again until you go and get certified. I told him if I ever hear that he's touching an animal again, I will report him to the board. Um, it's one of my good friends too. So. <laughs> he really will stop. He's sent a lot of animals my way now. Um, if you are not certified and you think that you know an animal spine, you don't. I have shown that, that keychain atlas to any chiropractor I know. And they're like, what is that? Like a T vertebra, like a, a thoracic vertebra. And I'm like, don't ever adjust an animal, please, until you get certified. <laughs> um, but I, I taught a seminar to a bunch of veterinarians or a bunch of vet and chiros and every single one of them you can tell has been adjusting animals in their practice and they watch you adjust and they just go like this because they're like, Oh, that's not what we've been doing. Yeah. I had one that was still using mallets on horses. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's like, okay, <laughs> please don't. Right. It's huge. So your, your big tool is what? Your hands. Yeah. You got 10 Very of them. Important. Yeah. Cool. 10 fingers, two hands. All right. So cool. Uh, let's see. What else should we talk about? Uh, so what do you want to tell the veterinarians that are like, well, I don't know that I want to refer to, to uh, so so what I've done with the veterinarians who don't want to refer is I've actually talked to them and said hey why don't you come in and have me work on a couple of the patients that you're like I don't know we're, we've tried everything we don't know what to do I'll do the adjustment for free just so you can see it and I've worked on about five of their patients and now they refer consistently so as soon as you show them what chiropractic is they tend to think more highly and you have to do it on five. So I offer five free adjustments to the veterinarians who are like, mm, I don't know. And I've had a couple of them bring in their own dogs mm -hmm. and they're like, my dog's 16 and couldn't walk. Right. Yeah. <laughs> and gets up and runs with them. So, cool. so it, they've, it started opening a lot of eyes. Yep. Show me chiropractic. Show me chiropractic. <laughs> exactly. So, hmm, where have we heard that before? <laughs> <laughs> Works well, That's doesn't it? Am I allowed to say that? <laughs> <laughs> yes, it's, it's, you can do it because, see, you, you learned it. Let's see? <laughs> yeah, you learned Show Me Chiropractic. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, all right. Well, thank you so much. Um, yeah. I'm going to do this. So what? If you are or know a veterinarian or chiropractor, or a student of either of these professions, visit our website, Animal Chiropractic Education Source, to see how to become certified in animal chiropractic. Start improving the lives of the animals around you. Welcome to Dr. O's Opus of Animal Chiropractic. Chiropractic consists of three parts, the art, the science, and the philosophy. This last segment of today's podcast is loaded with the philosophy and principles of animal chiropractic. Welcome to Dr. O's Opus of Animal Chiropractic. 
Chiropractic consists of three parts, the art, the science, and the philosophy. This last segment of today's podcast is loaded with the philosophy and principles of animal chiropractic. Communication between the spine and brain influences the accuracy of the brain's inner reality about what is really happening in the body. Why did they get adjusted before every lecture this week? To turn myself on so that I can give you 110%, so that I can give you everything I got. Because if I'm subluxated, I can't do that. And to show you guys how important the adjustment is, it is huge. It is huge. It's a major part of our life. It is why we are where we are. Okay? Back in 2002, Leslie sent me a letter and said, Dr. O, you don't have a You need CE. You got to get CE. I'm like, crap. Got no money. Where can I get CE at? She said, you gotta go to Davenport, Iowa. I ain't got no money. How come there's nothing in Texas? She said, well, nobody ever planned anything in Texas. Why don't you plan something in Texas? Okay. So I put together some speakers and I said, this might, would this be good for 20 hours of CE? And she said, yeah, it looks really good. She goes, oh, by the way, can we have the annual meeting there with that speech? I said, we don't know where we're gonna have it. But okay, I guess we probably shouldn't have it in Motel 6 then, should we? <laughs> so Dr. O's clinic hosted the 2002 ABCA event, ABCA conference at Parker Chiropractic College because he didn't have enough money to go to Davenport, Iowa to get CE. So 23 people showed up. My CE that year cost me 30 cents an hour. Yes! <laughs> a lot of time, but a whole lot I'm still certified. And out of that meeting came Parker Chiropractic College. And out of that meeting came this meeting you're at right now. Because without that meeting, we'd still be in Davenport, Iowa. So out of, without that, out of that meeting came this. We're now in a nice resort. There's over 200 people here. Out of that meeting came ACEs. Out of that meeting, three quarters of the people that were up on the stage yesterday and your board of directors were my students. All out of that meeting. All because Dr. O was too broke to get CE. All right? So, when you look, when you look at things, all right? When I taught at Parker, I lived in a subdivision in Northeast Dallas. My neighbors were about this far apart. We couldn't have horses. We couldn't have more than one dog. My son got hit by a drunk driver. He's 30 years old. But I'm a father first. I've been a father for 30 years. He was in a coma. We were visiting him every day, spending an hour there. Both Dr. Amy, she went with her. She went with me every day. And then, <sighs> I don't know what you want to call it. Right now I call her the greatest woman in my life is Dr. Amy and the second greatest woman in, his life, in my life is my ex-wife because my ex-wife slapped us with a cease and desist order. Said you can't see your boys anymore because you're treating them with voodoo shit that you can't be treating them with. So you can't see your boys anymore. So we now own a 198 acre ranch two and a half hours from the boys. Would we have done that if I could have still seen my boys every day? So, what she did to me then was the worst thing that could have ever happened. But look what's grown out of that. So when you get up in the morning, no matter how bad it looks, you need to go to the mirror and put your make and leave tie on. I don't care whether you put a tie on or not, because I don't wear a tie to work either. You know? But you put your tie on and you look at that mirror. And what are you gonna say tomorrow? Fill in the blank with me, doctor! 
Your last name. Come on, doctor. You look awesome. You're going to do fantastic. Go get it. All right? Because only you know what's real. And who's in charge of your reality? You are. Who's in charge of how good your adjustment is? Thanks for tuning in. Be sure to subscribe to the ACES channels so that you never miss an exciting episode.